Greetings everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and we're going to get right on into a new segment I'm starting today and it's like no let's get to the point okay so we're going to be strictly talking about ESPN correspondent Mike Hill okay and what I feel is my opinion and I feel he's an opportunist and I think he is climbing on the back of Cynthia Bailey and he's going to ride her until he can't do any more, uh, until he has no more usage for her. Yes, I said it, because he just don't seem right, y'all. He really don't. So I ain't going to tarry too long, because like I say, this is a new segment I'm bringing about. Getting straight to the point why I came to talk about what I want to talk about. Okay, so y'all tell me how y'all like it, but we're going to get into it. We got the story from Atlanta Black Star. And you know, my girl is back in full of force, uh, full force. Her name is Kirsten Willis. She's an employee over there at Atlanta Black Star. Check her out. She be hitting those hits, getting those beats together and dropping that commentary like it's hot in Snoop Dogg voice. Okay. Her title we have, it says, we will not be together. Sportscaster Mike Hill talks a new talk show new book and recent engagement to Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey. Okay. My voice is a little raggedy this wee hour in the morning. And I was supposed to have been back to give y'all some more videos on Miss Kenya Moore. Didn't forget about y'all. But I just felt kind of weird coming home from work and I just needed to rest. Okay. <clears throat> but I woke up uh, in the wee hours of the morning, and I said, well, let me put some on the tube while everybody's in bed, resting, and the dogs will sleep as well, okay? <clears throat> but we're going to get on into this story, because like I said, that's what my new segment is about, getting straight to the point, okay? It says, Mike Hill's name is relatively new to many fans of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, after he and he and the show star Cynthia Bailey went public about their romance. But there's a lot more to the sportscaster than being Bailey's betrothed. Okay? Now, see, that's a telltale sign right there. They wouldn't be together if he didn't have something to say. Okay? <clears throat> We're going to continue to read on. It says, Hill has been a studio host for Fox Sports 1 since 2013 after spending nine years at ESPN where he made a name for himself on a variety of sports programming covering the NFL basketball along with hosting the flagship show sports center now he is expanding his range of hosting duties as he follows the likes of Steve Harvey and takes on a talk show for streaming service for Fox News which focuses on telling stories pertaining to black audience. Okay, I'm in the development and contract negotiations to actually host a show called Fox B. He tells Atlanta Black Star exclusively on September 18th. We did a test run of four days, went well. It's a new streaming show on Fox, and it talks about how basically the things that are happening, whether it's good or bad in the community, mostly affecting the black community right now so i'm going to be a talk show host going outside the realm of sports which is something i've always actually wanted to do so i'm looking forward to doing that now surprise 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 looky 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 here comes tookie right how is it that he rubbed elbows with Steve Harvey, okay? Steve Harvey know people in the industry as well. Somehow, Cynthia Bailey is mixed up all into the cookie dough, all right? You see where I'm going? Okay, maybe not. Let's uh, forge ahead, okay? My opinions only. I'm just peeping game. I'm on the top of the building like a sharpshooter sniper, and I'm looking through my binoculars, and I really don't like what I see. Yes, Cynthia, I think you done got yourself hooked to an opportunist who's going to try to ride off of your fame, your fortune, and your platform. Oh, yes, he seeks you out, I do believe. You are kind of gullible, 
you're lovable but gullible and you don't really necessarily see what other people see you don't see the come up he's trying to come and use you for his platform real housewives of atlanta is huge okay in the atlanta area espn sports newscaster is huge in l i mean la atlanta new york okay it's a no-brainer, Cynthia. <clears throat> the man is not just there to be your husband. He's there to play off of you and more than likely try to use you up. Cynthia, catch up on game. Do your research. Talk to his ex-wife, Camille. I'm sure she could tell you fascinating stories about Mr. Mike Hill and his past. Okay, but he gives us a little bit of his past, and it ain't all good. It's almost like broken people trying to help broken people, and we do know how that kind of turn out uh, for the longevity. Okay, but getting back to the article, it said, for something he hasn't always wanted to do is write a book. Okay. And yet he began writing Open Mic in 2014 after he was told he's got a fascinating story. But by 2017, the feeling he definitely needed. He got the feeling he needed to write the book. Okay. All right. It was something deep down inside. It was like God telling me, if you don't write this book, you're going to die. He says, once I started writing the book, I couldn't stop. It was almost like I was regurgitating. I had all this stuff on my mind and my chest, and I needed to get it off my mind, my chest, because I wasn't moving forward. I was stuck in a rut. I would not be in the position I am today without writing open mic, because I needed that therapy, and I didn't realize that. And the book also made it possible for him to meet Bailey, to whom he proposed through marriage in July. But we know the backside of that story. We don't know the comments and goings, but we know Cynthia Bailey was pushing hard. She was feeling herself. She was ready to get married. You know, she had dated other people each season on the show, then pan out. Then she called herself going on the Steve Harvey show. Never met this man, Mike, before. Uh, and then suddenly we knew from other previous bloggers had reported that wasn't true. She had actually met Mike on a podcasting show that he was doing. So, they met. I don't know if it rung bells or they didn't like each other at the time, but something happened and it seemed like they kept abreast of each other and found themselves mixing and mingles in some of the similar circles that they both travel in. Okay, hence Steve Harvey. Hence Steve Harvey been married three separate times. Okay, and somehow got custody of all of his children from his wives apparently. Okay, we're going back to the article, all right? I wouldn't be engaged right now to Cynthia Bailey, he admits. We would not be together if it wasn't for that book, because it helped me realize there were so many things that was going on in my life that I didn't realize. Now I know why I did certain things in my life, and now I'm able to move forward. Okay, the sportscaster broadcaster even disclosed that he read his book to Bailey while they were dating, which drew them closer. We probably wouldn't be in the position that we are today if it wasn't for me writing that book, he says. So you see what I'm saying? He's clinging, clinging to hope of this book that he poured out his feelings into. It's almost writing like a journal of your life and your experiences and how you felt about each and every one of them. So you mean it was no chemistry? Between them two, uh, it was no longing to know more about that person. It was only because you decided to write a book that opened your eyes and ears and emotions to loving again. I tell you, something just don't seem right with this fella. He just don't seem right, people. Okay? Then he goes on to admit the hardest chapter he had to write was one of his earliest memories about his mother getting her ass whooped by a man that's supposed to have loved her. Okay, my mom was abused her entire life by my biological father. 
my stepfather, he says, I've seen domestic violence pretty much my entire childhood. Now, just doing a sidebar, okay, when I say hurt people hurt people and they keep with the cycle until they recognize what they're doing and how they're making this mistake fester through their lifetime and they end up continually making mistakes and being lonely. Didn't we have a point where Kenya Moore was filming something about domestic violence and abuse and she actually had Cynthia Bailey's mom uh, telling her side of the story or when she was in an abusive relationship? Y'all remember that? Now, doesn't that sound similar to what Mike Hill is saying? Okay, now... Is he getting counseling for all of this? Or he's just being told to share your feelings in a journal and relive things uh, and get some type of clarification from it and basically, you know, going with that. And I'm like, okay, those two are parallels. Are we making a connection? I don't know. Let me keep reading for you all. Uh, it says, so reliving some of those memories and reliving a chapter when my mom almost got killed by my stepfather when I was a kid, when my stepdaddy actually stabbed my mom in her back and left her for dead. And we came home. My cousin was taking care of me and she saw her on the bathroom floor. He said his mother, who still had effects from her attack, ultimately got a divorce. Still, the revelations for Hill continued. He learned his stepfather who gave the sports counselor, his last name, was a hit man, okay? He was a violent person, he says. You see this guy? He was a really nice, lovable guy to a lot of people. But to my mom, he was violent. He was an alcoholic, then family. I mean, then finally, he was a hit man and spent the last nine years of his life in prison for murder for hire because he had his next wife actually murdered on the steps of a church that his brother-in-law was actually the pastor of. Okay, this book will also see Hill own up to his own issues, and he helps the ti- and he holds the title will show people I have a past too, and I wasn't always a good guy, but I think people can evolve. Okay, and then it pretty much goes on and on and on, but I don't really want to read too much because I don't want to give him that much air time. Okay, don't really want to do it. I just brought this story out because I do really like Cynthia Bailey and I want to see her strive and be the best woman she can be in her 50 and golden years coming ahead and it just seemed like this man mike hill is a little bit damaged he and and, and he has a past and i just want cynthia to definitely understand the man's past okay and in her past or watching her mom go through domestic violence and all of that that it enthralled, okay? Because I'm, you know, hmm, it's just kind of speculating, and it seems like it's just speculation, and it's just my own opinion. But I really think, Cynthia, you need to pump your brakes. You need to be engaged for a while because you see your sister, your co-worker, Kenya Moore, she just took caution to the wind, didn't really check things out and thorough, and look where she at two years later. Now, you've already had your time with Peter Thomas, okay? You've already had your time with Leon, and we don't really know the the backstory on that because I think he was really good for you, but for some reason uh, that nobody has really is taken a, a, a interest in to try to find out why you and Leon can't be together. You don't went through several boyfriends. And now this, you know, year worth of romance you don't spend with Mike Hill, you're ready to get married to him. So I'm thinking, are you just in love with the love of romance and in love 
what it brings or what you feel it brings. And that's why you need to jump back into a marriage when you really haven't lived your life in a sense of dating for a while, getting to know, getting to know him, getting to know everything about him and his past, my dear, because you don't want it to bite you in your ass later on, my dear. Okay, that's all I'm saying, Cynthia. Pump your brakes. Find a little bit more out about this guy. And then it may not be all cookies and cream and cupcakes that you think it is, okay? It just might be fascination and the fascination of wanting to be married again. And hopefully it will work this time. I know you don't want to be a statistic again. And I know you want to have more love in your life and not be single all your life. That's what most of us want. But we're willing to sift through the bullshit and see what's what. Because I'm sure Mike has brought to you and to your table some things that you probably could not digest well. But you're overlooking. You're overlooking some signs, okay? And if we, the people, can see some stuff, surely you can take a moment, a moment out your time, your life, to figure it out as well. But that's all I had for this story. I got straight to the point. I told you where I was coming with it. And hopefully you can do your own more research and ponder for Cynthia. Because it don't like look like Cynthia going to ponder for herself. And Candy already had tried to forewarn her before. So maybe with all of us getting to Cynthia in this way, maybe, just maybe, she will look a little deeper into her own issues before she take on somebody else's past issues and make them her current issues, okay? But again, like and share my videos, subscribe, 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 like and share my videos, subscribe, 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 and I'll see you all next video. Bye-bye.